Hey y'all. <laughs> Hey y'all, we're gonna show you the uh, final product of the Nissan NV2500 high roof van that I've been building out for the past month and a half. Take a look from here. She's all white, folks. We got the V6 engine in here. It's the high roof. First thing I'll show you is our little, what we call the dog house, but it houses the generator. Uh, I built this from scratch, all building materials from Lowe's and Home Depot. Um, it's got the swing away hitch on it, which means I can swing it away and open the back doors to get all my equipment out. Uh, but I'll show you inside here. This is housing our generator, uh, which is a Westinghouse uh, 2200 watt generator. Basically, I have an insert in here so that there's an air chamber all around this middle insert. So um, insulation, noise insulation, and I've got a power strip in here so that I can have the stuff turned off when I start the generator and then turn it on. So that is my generator box, mainly it's for soundproofing and uh, weatherproofing for the generator. We call it the doghouse. Let's go around here. By the way, here's where the exhaust comes out um, for the generator. Let's take a look inside the van. So as you can see, when we first bought this van, it was uh, totally bare bones. It was just a straight cargo van and Basically, we did a lot of stuff to this thing. As you can see, we did the uh, waterproof gray floors on it. I bought this uh, vanity from Southeastern Salvage in Nashville, and I cut a hole for a sink in it. And what's really cool is there's no electric for the sink. It's just a pump sink. Um, and under here is where we have the containers for the clean water and waste water. Basically, it just pumps it right out of the uh, clean water tank and the drain goes into the wastewater tank. We also have some random storage for pots and pans and whatnot. Um, let's see. Let's close this door. And as you can see, we've got some nice fake greenery on the back. I thought that was a cool idea when I saw this at a music venue one time. And uh, so we did it for a backsplash. Yes, that's our mug that Cassie got me for Christmas. So I, bu I built these shelves from scratch um, and gray washed all the wood. And then uh, if you can turn around behind you, you can see this wood on the door. Inside of the door was all gray washed. It was pretty difficult putting this wood on this door because it, the door was such uneven surfaces. And uh, as you can see, I've done all the electrical in here. I've got outlets, uh, AC outlets, uh, quite a few, and there's one behind the sink here that you can see. And all those are connected to the generator, so when the generator is plugged in, uh, it powers all those outlets. And then the other stuff that's powered in here, for instance, the lighting, which there's six pot lights. And then if you can see this under bed lighting, you can see how it's turning blue. There's under bed lighting that kind of uh, underskirts the bed. And all these lights run off of the battery. They're 12 volt LED lights. And one other cool feature we have is if we are uh, maybe in an emergency or something, or we hear somebody around the car, we can flip the switch and turn the car alarm on. This is a CO. Uh, carbon monoxide detector just for safety when we're sleeping and we've got a pull out mirror here for Cass to do her makeup she can sit on the bed if she wants and do it or stand here and let's go this way we've got a shelf here we can put shoes or whatever and uh this is a little bit smaller than a uh, full mattress. My mother helped me, uh, actually she sewed 
this blanket um, to be a little bit smaller so it fits perfectly for this bed. And actually, my mom made this uh, throw, which is pretty awesome. And then you can see under the bed, side of the bed here, where we have drawers for our clothes. We have a pretty good drawer there. And one here. As well as one more down here. So, decent storage. Now, I can show you. We've got an ottoman here. That we can pull out and sit on if we want to sit on it and uh, just chill out and then beside it we've got this pretty awesome cooler which i hooked up to this switch here um, i can run the cooler off the generator when it's on or i can run it off the van battery when the when the van is running the brand on this cooler is igloo it's a super cool um Pretty big cooler that will uh, keep our stuff cold all the time, pretty much. And then check out this microwave. Uh, it's a Xeron. It's the classic microwave. It hooks up to the generator, and we can pop popcorn and make tea and all sorts of stuff in this thing. It's cool retro. And we got a little DVD player under here that we can play DVDs. And by the way, I'll show you where the DVD player is connected to this HDMI, which connects behind the walls to our TV. I don't think you saw our TV yet, which is hung on the roof. And it actually does fold all the way back if you want it to. Um, TV plug up there. And then I'll take you back to the side here. This, I'll pull this out a little bit. We've got, Our camper toilet here now this might not be the most ideal thing but for van life this thing is gonna be amazing basically I'll show you the front though it's a camco toilet portable toilet and basically it seals off uh, the waste portion and you can dump it when you need to dump it uh, pretty cool toilet here camco and also there's fresh water on the top where when you do that it basically flushes the bowl yeah so that's that let me put this guy back and then behind me it's hard to see but there's some dog bowls for jackson down there and they're attached to the wall so that they don't spill or move when we're driving, as well as Jackson's huge, thick dog bed behind me. Let me move so you can see that. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. So anyway, um, you can check out some of the wallpaper that we did. Basically, the whole thing is double insulated with um, bat insulation where I could put it, and then rigid insulation over the entire walls, floor, and ceiling. And then on top, we put uh, thin wood paneling and then wallpaper and then painted it. This is a textured wallpaper. Um, turned out pretty cool. And you can check out our closet hook here. This will be where our clothes hang. Smoke detector, carbon monoxide detector. And our fake hanging plant. I would say this whole project took about a month and a half to do. Um, I did work on it a lot in my free time. It took up a lot of my free time. And so, uh, yeah, about a month and a half from start to end. And it's pretty much finished now. And we will be able to stay in here and not have to do hotel rooms uh, anymore. So, yes. Oh, let me tell you one more thing under here. I got one more tray that's magnetized. By the way, when you're driving in a van, Things are always moving around, so things have to be like magnetized or attached to the wall somehow. So this is magnetized to the wall, and then you can pull it out, and it attaches to the wall again with magnets. So yeah, that's a little tour of our van. Maybe you'll see us on the road sometime. Hopefully we'll be in a city near you. 
And by the way, uh, you can always follow us on Instagram at my one and only official. My one and only official. And uh, also my one and only music.com. All right, thanks for hanging with us, and uh, we'll see you out there on the road.